22. But it's their new baby that set tongues wagging. Baby's getting bigger. But first, let's set the record straight. Last night we met the Dole Army, a group of activists who claimed they lived under the streets of Melbourne. They pride themselves on ripping off the welfare system. Isn't there clear evidence there where you are teaching people how to rort the work for the Dole scheme? Well, you call it rort. I call it massage. Well, now the Dole Army is crowing. They say it was all a hoax, a pack of lies designed to trick us and you. They now say they don't live in the drains, but still happily admit to being doll bludgers. Don't you just give doll recipients a bad name? I think I don't think doll bludgers could have a worse name than they already do, as far as I can see. And and uh, helping them get. So does doll. that make it right? That's, that's irrelevant. And this is what they said when we challenged their claims that they lived in the drains. Is it just a bit of role playing then, for you? For down here? Yeah. No, it's, it's a way of life. It's a way of life that I've got, to, um, I've got used to and that I love. For the record, we found them on this website, a website which tells people how to rip off taxpayers. Now, we believed, and still do, that it was in the public interest to expose a website that urges the unemployed to cheat the system. Now, to bring you that story, the Dole Army demanded a small fee, a fee we were told was going to help the homeless. We now know that was another big lie. And if they're serious about wanting to help the underprivileged, we challenge the Dole Army to hand over the money to an honest charity. But somehow, I don't think the faceless people who call themselves Kookaburra, Vegemite and Possum will do the right thing. Now to an eight-year-old who's been expelled from school because his parents separated.